In this video here, we're going to take a look at set notation. Now, before we take a detailed look here at conditional probability, let's just revise set notation. And let's begin here with the intersection. So for the intersection here, let's begin then with the notation that we use to represent the intersection. Let's say we're looking for the intersection here, these two events, the event A and the event B. And the way that we represent this here, the probability of A intersection B. So this symbol here, this represents the intersection. And like you can see, it looks a bit like an N here. Um, but that represents the intersection there of A and B. Okay. So for the intersection here, think about this as being the and of two events. So probably of A and B there. Okay. So and here for the intersection. So how do we represent this here now on a Venn diagram? Well, let me just pick a different color now just to shade this here. And the intersection is this region here in the middle with the overlap. So shade this here. Obviously it's just this region here in the middle. This represents here the intersection of A and B. Like so there. Okay. And then finally here, just go back to my original pen color here. Let's say we've got two events, so the event A and B here. So if A and B are independent events, If A and B are independent events, and what we can say here then is the probability of A intersection B, the probability of A intersection B, that is equal to the probability of A, the probability of A times the probability of B. Okay. As a key result there, don't forget that. So if you want to show that two events are independent, then this result here must hold. Okay. Well, that's everything that we need there for the intersection. So we take a look now at the union here. Let's just begin by writing that down. So for the union here, how do we represent the union then of these two events here, say the event A and the event B? Well, the way that we represent the union here, this would be the probability of A union B. This symbol here, this just represents the union. And there you can see, it's got this U shape here. This just simply represents the union then of A and B here. And for the union, if it helps, think about this as being R. So what we're looking at here is the probability of A or B. Let's just write that down. Like I said, this is the probability of A or B. So we now want to represent that here on this Venn diagram. Again, Let's just do this in a different color here. And if we're looking for the probability of A or B, it would be everything inside the circles here. I'll we'll just quickly shade that here. I'm going to get something that looks like this. We would also include the intersection here. Like so. And then this region here as well. Okay. And like we said, this just represents here the probability of A union B. Okay. And then finally here, let's say we've got the events A and B and they're um, mutually exclusive here. So if A and B are mutually exclusive, we'll just write this down in full. And what we can say here then is the probability of A union B. Probably of A union B. That is going to be equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B there. Okay. And there we have it. So that's everything that we need there for the union. And finally then, let's take a look here at the complement. Let's just write this down to begin with. So for the complement here, let's say the complement of the event A then, the way that we represent this here would be the probability of A complement. This little dash here, this just represents the complement. 
So using the law then of total probability here, what we can say, the probability of A plus the probability of A complement must equal 1. So therefore, if we rearrange here and make the probability of A complement the subject, what we get here then is the probability of A complement is equal to 1 minus the probability of A. Okay, so finally, how do we represent this now on this Venn diagram here? So again, if I shade this here in a different color, but the probability of not A here. So basically, we want anything that isn't A. So we do need to be slightly careful here. We won't include the intersection here because that still includes A. Okay, so we're going to shade this region here because this doesn't include A. And what we've also got here is the region outside the circles. Okay, so we'd shade this as well here. Shade this all the way on the outside. Like so. Don't know how to be the prettiest, but just so we can illustrate how this would look here on a Venn diagram. Okay. And there we have it. So this represents here the probability of A complement. Okay, that's how we represent it there on a Venn diagram. And there we have it. So that's everything that we need there for the complement. And that brings the end of this video on set notation.